Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to explain a movie named The Little Mermaid. The enchanting story of the movie takes us to the world beneath the sea, where a young mermaid named Ariel longs to explore the world of humans. Little does she know that her desire for a different life will lead her to a remarkable journey filled with adventure, challenges, and ultimately the discovery of true love. Join me as we dive into the captivating story of Ariel's quest to find her place in both the ocean and the human world. At the start of the movie, we see a huge ocean, a world where mermaids live. Then, a huge ship appears with people who collect and sell antiques from the sea. Among them is Prince Eric, who loves collecting special things. It's the moon festival and everyone on the ship wants to catch mermaids, but Eric stops them. Eric has a special man who is also his guardian, advising him to take small things from the sea. Meanwhile, we are shown the beautiful underwater world ruled by the water god, who has seven mermaid daughters. However, the youngest daughter, Ariel, is missing. The water god sends a crab to find her. Ariel loves human things and often explores sunken ships. She has a fish friend and finds a broken ship far away. Against the fish's warnings, she goes and encounters a shark. Ariel escapes by trapping a shark in a net. She finds a fork and asks her friend Bird about it, discovering it's used for hair. The crab arrives with a message from the water god informing Ariel about the moon festival. Ariel hurries to meet her dad. In the sea, there is also a sea witch with tentacles like the octopus who has been watching Ariel closely. Ariel faces her angry father, explaining her fascination with humans and their beautiful world. The king, holding a grudge against humans for his wife's death, forbids Ariel from going near human things again. Angry, Ariel leaves and the king sends the crab to watch over her. Ariel gets angry and retreats to her room, where she keeps a collection of human objects that have fallen into the sea from sunken ships. She has books, buttons, coins, and various other items. Ariel has always yearned to explore the world of humans and wander the streets. One day, she hears explosions from above water and goes to investigate. To her delight, she sees a grand ship owned by Prince Eric, where people are celebrating with fireworks. Ariel becomes thrilled by the abundance of new things human possesses. Eric and his friends are enjoying themselves on the ship, disregarding the advice of Eric's guardian, who is reminding him of his princely responsibilities. Ariel admires Eric's carefree nature and his kind heart. Suddenly, they realize that the weather has turned hostile, with heavy rain and violent waves that could sink their ship. Everyone begins to evacuate onto small boats for their safety. However, Eric realizes that his dog is still on the ship and decides to rescue it. As he jumps back onto the ship, a massive wave strikes, causing the ship to split into two. Ariel witnesses the entire incident and sees Eric being submerged into the water. Without hesitation, she saves his life and pulling him out of the water and bringing him back to the shore. It is Ariel's first encounter with a human being and she touches him gently. Ariel sings and tries to revive Eric, while her animal friends discuss keeping her action a secret from the king. Ariel's effort pays off and Eric regains consciousness. Just then, palace guards arrive in search of Eric and take him away, unaware of Ariel's presence. Ariel hides, watching both the guards and the water witch who has been observing her since the beginning. The water witch has a hidden agenda behind her interest in Ariel. Overwhelmed by her encounter with Eric and the nature world, Ariel feels lost. Ariel yearned to enter the world of humans and eagerly waited Eric's return, hoping he would come looking for her someday. Meanwhile, Eric recovers from his injuries and visits his mother, the queen, inquiring about the girl who has saved his life that night. His mother informs them that they haven't found her yet and then assures him that he will soon. However, she insists that Eric needs to rest. Unconvinced, Eric is determined to find the girl who rescued him and suspects she may be a mermaid. He visits the seaside daily, searching for Ariel. Eric even returns to the ship, believing that if he puts himself in danger again, the mermaid will come up to rescue. Ariel, lost in her own thoughts, observes her sister salvaging Eric's ship but doesn't interact with them. Her father becomes suspicious of her behavior, suspecting that Ariel has fallen in love with a human. The king seeks answers from the crab, who confirms that Ariel indeed saved a human's life. Furious, the king who possesses great power destroys the human objects Ariel has collected, despite her pleas to stop. Witnessing this, Ariel feels immense sadness. At that moment, the sea witch, who has been watching Ariel, appears before her, claiming to be her aunt and known as the sea witch. The witch acknowledges Ariel's desires and offers her to become a human and enters a human world. However, she sets some conditions. Ariel must return within three days, express her love to the human, and surrender her voice in exchange. If she fails to confess her love, Ariel must remain with the witch forever. Overwhelmed and fearful, Ariel begins to retreat, but the witch taunts her, saying that she can stay with the strict father for the rest of her life, cutting off any chance to meet a human. Ariel's voice is restored and she reluctantly agrees to the witch's demands. The witch uses her magic to lock Ariel's voice in a locket and transform her from a water fairy into a human. As a human, Ariel struggles to stay in the water and reaches the shore. Unbeknownst to Ariel, it was all a trap orchestrated by the witch who aims to overthrow Ariel's father and become the queen of the sea. Ariel becomes entangled into a fisherman net, surprising him. She assures the fisherman that she will bring him to her queen, who will take care of him. Ariel is filled with joy and she admires her new feet, and her animal friends join her, aware that she is now a human rather than a water fairy. The fisherman brings her to his queen, who happens to be Eric's mother. Ariel receives excellent care, including bathing and clothing. As she enters the human world, Ariel feels immense happiness. 
However, she cannot speak as she has traded her voice with the witch. When Eric visits her, he is surprised but fails to recognize her. Although Eric suspects that the girl in the palace is the one who saved his life, he doesn't realize it is Ariel. Before leaving, Eric is approached by a crab who warns him that he must confess his love within three days or Risk will be trapped by the witch forever. Ariel overhears this conversation and departs. As Ariel explores the human world, she discovers many fascinating things and explores a room filled with antiques that Eric had collected from the sea. She discovers the water fairy figurine and returns it on its place when Eric arrives. Eric enthusiastically shows Ariel various objects and she's surprising him by breaking open a stone to reveal a diamond that he was unaware of. He also shares maps of different countries with her and they appear to be living happily together. Eric's guardian suggests continuing the search for the girl who saved his life and Eric agrees, expressing his desire to find her himself. They arrange a horse carriage for Eric and then they take Ariel with him on the journey. Ariel joyfully drives the horses along the shore and explores the village, revealing in new experiences. At night, Eric plans to take Ariel Ariel on a boat tour, accompanied by many animal friends. They discuss how it's a perfect opportunity for Ariel to express her feelings to Eric as love has blossomed between them. Ariel kisses Eric, she will remain with them as a human and avoid the witch's grasp forever. As they enjoy themselves on the boat, the witch using her magic causes the boat to capsize. Ariel and Eric are saved, but the witch seeks answers about their closeness. Meanwhile in the sea, the Ariel's father asks her sisters about her whereabouts, but they have no knowledge. The sisters set out to find Ariel. Back in the human world, Ariel and Eric return to the palace, where Eric's guardian notices his happiness and suggests that they have found the girl he was searching for, someone who will bring him everlasting joy. However, Eric's heart remains unsatisfied and he ventures to the shore to find the girl who saved his life. He encounters a girl sitting on a stone by the shore and he believes it is her he has been seeking. Eric brings her to the palace. The next day, Ariel's animal friends wake her up, urging her to fulfill her task of confessing her love to Eric. Ariel quickly gets ready and approaches Eric, only to find him with the girl he believes he saved her life. The girl wears a shining locket that contains Ariel's voice. Overwhelmed with sadness, Ariel retreats far from the palace. One night, her bird friend hears a song that is Ariel's voice, emanating from the locket worn by the girl Eric met in the previous night. The girl is revealed to be the witch in disguise, who urges Ariel to claim her love. She warns her that if Ariel fails, she will lose her chance to remain human. Moved by this revelation, Ariel returns to the palace. In the palace, Eric and the girl he believed to have saved his life were about to be engaged. Eric's mother, noticing his previous happiness with Ariel, questions his true feelings. Eric, unaware of the situation, is confused. Suddenly, Ariel's friends arrive and attack the girl. Ariel removes the locket containing her voice and reveals her true identity to Eric, explaining that she is the one who saved him. The witch, in her true form, appears and attacks everyone with the powerful tentacles. When Ariel returns into her mermaid farm, the witch takes her back to the sea. Ariel's father arrives and learns about the deal his daughter made with the witch, a deal he cannot break. To save Ariel, he makes a new deal with the witch. Unfortunately, the witch kills the king using her magic and claims her magical weapon. Her objective of becoming the queen of the sea is achieved. Intent on killing Ariel, the witch encounters resistance from Eric, who arrives to save her on the sea. The witch transforms into a gigantic octopus, posing a grave threat. Eric clings to a ship while Ariel tries to protect him from witch's various attacks. Eventually, Eric climbs the mountain and Ariel turns the ship, causing it to enter the witch's body and neutralize her magic. The witch returns to her human farm, losing her powers. When the witch is defeated, Ariel's father, the king, is restored to life. Ariel retrieves her father's magical weapon. However, Ariel refrains from speaking about herself on Eric, focusing on her father's sacrifice. Eric swims to the shore and informs his mother about his intention to enter into the sea and bring Ariel back. His mother explains that it is not possible as he is a human, while Ariel is the water fairy who has returned to her world. Ariel's father asks Crab for reassurance regarding his actions but wonders why his daughter remains sad. Crab explains that despite everything, Ariel's happiness lies with Eric. Finally, Ariel becomes human and reunites with Eric near the shore. They embrace and decide to get married in the palace. They embark on the journey to explore the world together. Eric meets his mother and before leaving, Ariel bids farewell to her father. Her father acknowledges his mistake and believes that it is not everyone bad. He expresses his happiness that mermaids and humans are now together. Overjoyed, Ariel and Eric set off to their world journey. And this brings us to the end of the movie. The movie teaches us about several valuable lessons, like it teaches us about love and sacrifice. Ariel's love for Eric leads her to giving sacrifices, including giving up her voice, in order to be with him. The movie highlights the power of love and the willingness to make selfless sacrifices for the one we care about. It teaches us about courage and determination. Ariel displays courage and determination throughout the story. She defies her father and risks everything to pursue her dreams and to be with a person she loves. The movie encourages viewers to have the courage to follow their hearts and chase their dreams, even in the face of obstacles. It teaches us about family family and forgiveness. The movie explores the dynamics and the family relationships. Ariel's relationship with her father is strained initially, but through forgiveness and understanding, they are able to reconcile and find happiness. It emphasizes the importance of family bonds and the power of forgiveness in healing and building strong relationships. Overall, the movie promotes themes of love, acceptance, courage, family, and the importance of making choices and based on truly matters in life.